and thank you, Chair. So it's my great honor to be invited to attend this conference. My presentation will focus on the role and the challenges of the international non-proliferation regime, and also the measures should be taken to strengthen the international non-proliferation regime. In the past of more than 40 years, although the international non-proliferation regime met with many difficulties and challenges, but generally speaking, with the joint efforts of the international community, it has played a positive role in preventing the proliferation of nuclear weapons. In September 2009, the UN Security Council held for the first time in the history a nuclear non-proliferation and a nuclear disarmament summit, which reflects the great importance the international community attaches to nuclear non-proliferation. In recent years, positive progress has been achieved in nuclear disarmament, non-proliferation, the peaceful use of nuclear weapon, uh, nuclear energy, and the nuclear security. In April 2010, the United States and Russia formally signed the New START Treaty, which limits each side to 1,550 deployed warheads and 800 deployed and non-deployed deliver systems. It is 30% lower than the deployed strategic warhead limits of Moscow Treaty and a 50% cut of the delivery systems. Since entry into force, the NPT Treaty has been regarded as a cornerstone of the international nuclear non-proliferation regime and has played a significant role in promoting nuclear disarmament and preventing more countries from acquiring or developing nuclear weapons. The IAEA also made significant uh, contributions in preventing nuclear proliferation. Implementing the NPT safeguard agreement and strengthening the supervision of nuclear facilities and materials. Many countries established and strengthened their sensitive item and technology export control mechanism. The Iran nuclear issue has been a serious concern of the international society. The five permanent members of the UN Security Council and Germany have conducted several rounds of talks with Iran and reached an interim agreement to solve the Iran nuclear issue in November 2013. The negotiation for a final agreement is going on and more efforts are needed to resolve all the remaining issues. The Nuclear Security Summit, which aims to enhance cooperation against nuclear terrorism, succeeded in boosting the nuclear security awareness and accelerating the efforts of some countries to reduce or eliminate their stockpiles of sensitive materials. The concept of creating a nuclear weapon-free world is increasingly recognized by more and more countries. But we must say that the international security environment is very complicated, and there is still a long way to go before we can achieve the goal of a nuclear weapon-free world. After the end of the Cold War, because of the original bipolar world, world pattern was broken, the nuclear proliferation became serious in some regions. The international nuclear non-proliferation regime fails to effectively stop the proliferation of nuclear weapons and the universality and authority of the international nuclear non-proliferation regime were questioned. With the fast development of information technology, it is not difficult for a country to obtain nuclear weapon technology 
and nuclear capability. Because of the change of the international security situation, a few countries still regard possessing nuclear weapons as an important way to rank among the major powers in the world and to enhance their national strength. In the past 15 years, the number of nuclear states has increased from eight, from five to eight, with North Korea becoming a state with nuclear capability. The six-party talk aiming to resolve the North Korea nuclear issue is in a stalemate. There are also a number of states lingering around the nuclear threshold, waiting for an opportunity to cross the threshold and became nuclear states. With the wide application of nuclear energy and nuclear technology, more and more nuclear facilities and materials scattered around the world. Due to lack of supervision in some countries, the risk of theft, loss, and smuggling of nuclear materials increase. According to information from the ID IAEA's illicit trafficking database. From 1993 to 2011, more than 2,100 incidents of nuclear and radioactive materials have been, have been confirmed, of which about 400 incidents involved an authorized possession, movement, or attempts to illegally trade or use of nuclear and radioactive materials. In 2013, about 140 cases of missing or unauthorized use of nuclear and radioactive materials were reported to the United Nations. After 9-11 incidents, some terrorist and extremist groups tried to encroach on nuclear materials and technology the widespread of nuclear black markets and nuclear technology provided an opportunity for the terrorist and extremist organizations. Once the nuclear materials and the technology fall into the hands of the terrorist and extremist groups, they could try to use them to make a so-called dirty bomb. It poses it poses great potential threat to the whole international community. Facing the challenges of climate change and energy security, nuclear energy is becoming an important choice of more and more countries to solve their energy demand and improve energy structure. More than 60 countries are developing or intend to develop nuclear energy. More than 430 nuclear power generating units are running. More than 200 nuclear reactors are under construction or to be built. According to the NPT Treaty, non-nuclear states have the right for peaceful use of nuclear energy, but a handful of countries use peaceful use of nuclear energy as a, as a cover to obtain the materials, technology, and the capacity that can be used to develop nuclear weapons, which increase the risk of nuclear proliferation. The defects of the international nuclear non-proliferation regime itself and the policy differences of major countries also pose challenges to the international non-proliferation regime. It is a common responsibility of all countries in the world to promote international nuclear disarmament and nuclear non-proliferation, ensure that nuclear energy is used entirely for peaceful purposes. For this reason, I believe that the international community should take the following measures to strengthen the international nuclear non-proliferation regime. Firstly, maintain peace and the stability of the international and the regional situation. The international and the regional security situation 
is closely related to the nuclear proliferation. All countries should resolve international disputes by peaceful means, respect the legitimate security concern of all countries, eliminate, eliminate the motivation to develop nuclear weapons, and increase the security of of all countries, maintaining regional peace and stability, and achieving the goal of non-proliferation are equally important. Secondly, continue to push forward the nuclear disarmament process and reduce the threat of nuclear weapons. Nuclear disarmament has important significance in improving international security environment and promoting world peace. In recent years, the United States and Russia have reduced their nuclear forces substantially. But more importantly, all reduced war nuclear warheads should be destroyed, not just transferred from deployment to stock. The international community should also continue to promote the early entry in force of CTBT uh, CTBT and the early start of MIS, FMCT negotiation. Other nuclear weapon states should join the multilateral nuclear disarmament negotiation process when at the appropriate time. Thirdly, take practical steps to promote the goal of establishing a nuclear weapon-free world. The non-aligned movement issued a statement recently urging all countries to fulfill their denuclearization commitments and calling for the elimination of nuclear weapons across the world. In the current situation, when nuclear weapons still exist, nuclear weapon states should first start negotiation on no first use of nuclear weapons and conclude an international legal instrument, take clear commitment of no first use of nuclear weapons to each other, and unconditional commitment of no first no use or threat use of nuclear weapons against non-nuclear weapon states or nuclear weapon free zones. Nuclear weapon states should fulfill their nuclear disarmament obligations make a public commitment not to seek permanent possession of nuclear weapons. Relevant countries should be cautious with development of missile defense system, which undermines global strategic stability, and the development of conventional, advanced conventional precision striking weapon systems. Fourthly, the IAEA safeguard system should be further strengthened. The universality of the IAEA comprehensive safeguards agreement and additional protocols should be promoted. All countries should implement the relevant UN security resolutions, improve export control system, and enhance international cooperation on the basis of existing international law. At the same time, International non-proliferation efforts should be impartial and non-discriminatory, and double standards should be abandoned. Fifthly, strengthen nuclear security. Nuclear security is an important guarantee to promote the peaceful use of nuclear energy and the sustainable economic development, and it is also conducive to the maintaining of social stability and national security. All countries should fulfill relevant international obligations, strengthen domestic legislation and supervision mechanisms, take effective measures to protect the security of nuclear materials and facilities, fight against illicit trafficking of nuclear materials to prevent terrorist and the extremist groups from obtaining nuclear materials. Sixthly, strengthen international cooperation in peaceful use of nuclear energy. The international efforts to prevent nuclear proliferation 
and strengthen the nuclear security should not damage the legitimate rights of non-nuclear countries, especially the developing countries in peaceful use of nuclear energy. The IAEA should play a positive role in ensuring the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Thank you.